Hey guys, welcome back to Life and Love Recipes where we cook it up and we just solve the world's problems at the same time. Today we're going to be talking about seven daily habits that you can do to feel fulfilled in your life. Yesterday we were talking about seven habits for your relationship. Now we're talking about yourself, you. It's all about you. And we're going to make some pasta with a little bit of pepper steak and onion and yum stuff. Here, I'll show you. Um, I actually don't eat uh, real meat, so this is beyond steak. Steak and beyond. Uh, it's actually really good. Um, so we're gonna use that instead. We've got some, we've got some red pepper and onion in there. Yummy, yummy. We've got some shirt tomatoes. We've got some fresh garlic, some fresh basil, some pesto sauce, because I like pesto sauce. I've actually already done the pasta to save a little bit of time. Voila, c'est bon. It's sticking there, both type pasta. You can use whatever kind of pasta. There's a good chickpea pasta. There's, um, there's pasta pasta, there's protein pasta. Use whatever your little heart desires. And anyway, that's sitting in there. It's got some olive oil in it so it doesn't get sticky. I'm actually gonna give it another little stir because I don't like when my pasta gets all sticky. There we go. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do, uh, I always keep my temperature around a little, little hotter than medium. Cause that's me, I'm just, I'm just like a little hotter than medium. Not super hot, just I'm a little hotter. Anyway, okay, so the first thing, you're gonna turn it on, get that oil all over the place. Right, spread it all around, spread it all around. And then we've got onion and red pepper. Mm -hmm. Some onion and red pepper. And what am I gonna do this? I'm gonna get it uh, nice and caramelized because it just tastes better. I know it's not as healthy for you. I know that, I'm very aware, but that's okay because it tastes good. Kids like it and they're still getting some vegetables, right? So we put that in there all together. Get that started, getting all yummy and whatnot. And uh, so let's start with our, I'll go, oh, I'll go over our list of ingredients. We've got a container of pasta, depending on how many people you're gonna feed is how much pasta you need. Cook it, set it on the side, just like normal, read the box or however you got a bag. Um, and then you're gonna have a red pepper, some cherry tomatoes. I just use a handful, more or less, whether, you know, however much you like it or don't like it. Uh, I used about a handful of mushrooms, baby bell mushrooms. I've got some, uh, a whole onion in there, yellow onion, and one red pepper. I don't know, I mentioned that, and some fresh, two cloves of fresh garlic, and fresh basil as well. So, salt and pepper, some pesto sauce, Olive oil, you're good to go. All right, so what's my list of seven habits you can do every day so you don't feel like crap? Hmm, let's go over it. Uh, we'll go, I'll go over the list, then we'll go one by one. Uh, number one, practice gratitude. I am big on gratitude. Uh, self-care rituals, daily self-care. Yes, don't, just do it, okay? Just take care of yourself. Uh, healthy eating. When we eat better, we feel better, right? Why am I talking like you're two years old? I don't know. Um, uh, mindfulness, meditation, this is important. Um, set and pursue your goals, people. Set your goals, pursue your goals. Uh, connect with loved ones every day and um, continuous learning. Those are your seven habits. I'm gonna give this a little curry stir while we're going. So let's talk about gratitude. Um, I talked to you guys about our daily gratitude practice before with my kids in the morning when we're driving to school. Everybody says three things that they are thankful for and they have to be specific. They can't be like, um, my feet, my car, and, you know, it's got to be something specific. And then if they get real general, then I say, okay, so tell me why you have gratitude. Why are you thankful for those things? And then we do a little in set an intention for the day and then we all just kind of pray on it and then we see at the end of the day we see whose intentions were fulfilled and um, but gratitude is why gratitude so important because when you're in the real feeling of gratitude you're not in the feeling of anger you're not in the feeling of jealousy you're not in the feeling of envy you're you're in the moment and it's a uh it's the best time to actually ask for what you want 
And if you, even if you don't want anything, it's just good to have gratitude. Gratitude is, is, is um, Also, uh, for yourself, practicing gratitude, um, what I mentioned that I do with the kids is a great thing, but for yourself to start, if you're not in the habit of practicing gratitude, it's not vitamin C because we in six season. Um, if, if you're not in the practice and you want to start doing it, write three things down every day for a week. And as soon as you wake up, have your little notebook and your pen or pencil next to you. And don't put it in your phone. Not yet. First, the first week, you want to write it down as soon as you wake up. Why do we want to write it down as soon as we wake up? Because usually when you wake up in the morning, like your first instinct is to think about all the things that I got to do. Oh my gosh, I got to go do this today. I got to do this. You, get, you solve it all the world's problems. And you just woke up. No. Wake up in the morning, write down three things that you're thankful for, and then go on your little roll of rant of all the million things that you got to do. That's fine. But start your day with gratitude. Okay. And it, and then if you can do your self care after that, that'll be, that'll be amazing. But gratitude, write your three things down that you're thankful for. And you know what this does? Let's take a sip. You know what it does when you're, when you're, say you're in the habit of every day I wake up and I'm just, I just go, 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 go. I got a million things to do. Well, when you have, when you stop yourself and as soon as you wake up, you're retraining your brain. You're telling your brain because your body wants to go, right? Your body's like, no, we got to go. But you're, you're retraining your brain. You're telling yourself, nope, we, we're not going to do this whole thing where we're in a rush and we're stressed out. And no, no, we're taking a pause. We're going to have a moment and we're gonna express gratitude. And it also gets you, your mind, when you're thinking of your things, because don't put the same thing every day, don't write the same thing, really think about what are you what are you grateful for? Because there's so much to be grateful for. Really, you got air, you got your food, you got your home, you've got your partner, you've got your, uh, there, uh, everything. You've got your limbs, you can do whatever you want. There's so much to be, to be grateful for, but really stop and take that time. So every day, write down what you're grateful for. And then the next next thing for uh, your daily to-do is um, your self-care. So um, what I was saying about um, if you could, after you write down your gratitude, if you could do go into a quick meditation or um, self-care, let's go to self-care, right? So you wake up. You write down the things that you're grateful for, and then you go for a walk. You take a nice long bath, little little salt bath, right? You um, and some people will say, "Oh, but I don't have time for that." Well, guess what? You gotta set your clock a little bit earlier. Your time clock, your alarm clock. Get up a little bit earlier, and bam! You don't have time for that. I want to get up early. Well, you won't be happy. You won't complain. Get up a little bit earlier. Give yourself an extra. 15, 20 minutes in the morning. That's it. That's it. 15, 20 minutes. So wake up, do a little yoga, do some stretching, go for a quick walk outside, and just take care of yourself. If you can't do that, then make sure that every day you are doing something that you, you can do for yourself, whether it's reading a book that you like, whether it's um, uh, hopefully it's something physical, like get your body moving, get the get the blood flowing, you know, do something that number one, makes you feel good. And sometimes, especially women, oh man, us poor women, it's, it's just not right what's going on with women in our heads, right? So, um, don't feel guilty about it. Don't feel guilty about taking time for yourself. And please, don't, don't let anybody else make you feel guilty about it. Like, okay, so you can't do that because it's in your mind that you can't, but I'm, I'm going to take care of myself. Please take care of yourself because you're the only person that's going to take care of you, right? Um, and when 
guess what? When you're happy and fulfilled and you've taken that moment for yourself, I don't even care if it's getting up and having your coffee and sitting outside for a few minutes and, and reading whatever you want to read. But just take that time for yourself. And when you have those thoughts of, oh, I can't because I got to do this, tell your mind, no, I can. We're not doing that right now. The, the stuff that, that million things that you have to do, guess what? They're going to be there in 10 minutes. They ain't going nowhere. So take the time for yourself. Re start to reprogram yourself, retrain yourself. Um, what else? All right, let's go on to number three. Healthy eating. Oh, imagine that. We're cooking and we're talking about healthy eating. Um, so this is this is looking pretty good right here. This is your mushrooms, your onion. Oh, you know what I need to add? Because it's six season and I just love it anyway. My garlic. Uh, throw, my, throw some garlic in there. Um, when we eat a bunch of crap, number one, <laughs> there's so many like preservatives and everything and everything. It just, our body doesn't know what to do with it. And when our we're not eating healthy, our bodies aren't healthy. And with all the stress that everybody has, plus you're not eating healthy, and your your mind is going crazy with all this stress, you're going to get sick or worse, you know, right? So eating healthy makes you feel better. You just, you start to feel better about yourself. Yeah, my little Himalayan sea salt. I don't know why I love this stuff so much. It's probably because it's pink, and I love pink, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, I'm a pinkaholic. Um, and when you feel better about yourself, guess what? You're just nicer. You're just a nicer person. You're nice to be around. And then people, just that mirror of life is reflecting back at you. People are all of a sudden nicer to you too. So when you start to do these things, you just want, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna just, trust me, trust me, do it for a week. If you, if you don't agree with me, you can write me back and say, I've tried everything, Rachel, for a week. And I'm still a miserable mother, right? Go ahead, let me know. Let me know about it. Um, all right. What are we on? Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. My mind's somewhere else. Uh, oh, this is good. Mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation. So you can be in the moment, right? Uh, meditation is good for so many things. When we meditate, like some people, they were asking me like, well, how do you how do you meditate? Like, what is meditating? Meditation is literally just being in the moment, in the present, in this moment. You are not thinking about the future. You're not thinking about the past. You do not have any emotions connected to anything. You are just in the moment and clearing your mind. And when you have all those thoughts that are flooding in, telling you of all the things that you have to do or all the things that people did wrong to you or whatever, you are not in the moment and once our minds are clear and you're in the moment that's when you, you all of a sudden you're more creative you're more in you're just more connected you just connected you just it just practice your mindfulness meditation and if you don't know how that's okay that's what we have youtube right there's so many guided meditations that you could do pick one that you like pick a new one every day heck there's so many on YouTube, you can have a new one every single day. And some days you're going to feel, wow, that was amazing. And then other days you're gonna feel like, ah, oh, I, I didn't really feel anything. But you did do something. You're retraining your brain to slow down, to be in the moment, to be more connected, calming down your body, and you feel more fulfilled when, you, when you're practicing all these habits every day and you're like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna get all this time? Well. If you're writing down your things that are thankful and then right away you're meditating or you're meditating and you're outside and you're drinking your coffee right after, that's like still only 20 minutes, guys. It's 20 minutes of your life that can change your change your entire, your whole attitude, your whole perspective on life. Um, and it's really, it's that simple. It's really that simple. All right, so now I'm gonna add my cherry tomatoes, and I don't cook them too long because I like them to be a little bit harder. So I don't love cherry tomatoes. All right, let's go on to, oh, the next one. Number five. Number five is set and pursue goals. Why? Uh, 
So say you have your nine to five job or 11 to whatever job, and you've been kind of doing this, you got your routine going for the past, I don't know how long, um, and you're just kind of in it, right? This is your normal thing and your life isn't bad, but it's also, you know, not amazing. It's just, you're just status quo, right? Well, status quo uh, is, is not growth guys so set your goals things that are achievable also if, if you are stuck in a place where you're just like oh i'm not happy with my life i, I really just I need a change guess what if you set a goal and then something simple something that you can achieve say you, you can do it in a, in a week say this week my goal is to practice my gratitude journal take time for myself, meditate, like set things that are achievable, right? And then once you accomplish them, you you have this, number one, you have a sense of purpose. Like you get up and it's not just going about, just going through the motions and having a normal day, like every day status quo, doing the same old thing. You have a new sense of purpose. And when you see that, you check that off and you see that you've accomplished it, you feel accomplished. You feel like, wow, Something's different. I feel good about myself. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm not just stuck in stuck in the rut that I thought I was in, right? So, oh, now I add a little oil. I'm gonna add my my Beyond Beyond Beef strips. What, what are they called? Seared tips. Tip, tips of what? I'd like to know. What? It, what is that? The tip of? Mm -hmm. What is that? The tip of? So you set your goal and you make them achievable. You can even have daily goals. You can have a daily goal of, you know what, today I'm going to practice my seven daily habits. And then you've achieved your goal and you've done one of your, your daily habits, right? So um, set your goals, um, understand that your, uh, your self-talk is important as well. Don't talk to yourself negatively and you will i mean it's just this is normal if you're in a bad mood and bad moods come from negative self-talk so just notice them like as soon as you notice your negative thought you're being mindful you're uh changing a brain pattern and, and you say oh i don't i don't need that thought no that's not true i don't know why i thought that i'm going to focus on something else if you can change it to something positive right away that's beautiful but even if you can't think of anything positive because the, the thought has already created a negative emotion guess what you've already you're already ahead of the game i'm adding a little pet book because you caught yourself now you're an observer now you're seeing oh i'm not just that person just going about my my little negative thoughts i'm i'm separating myself from the thought i am not the thought so uh, so if you can try to notice it more often, the more you notice it, you can ask, well, why am I thinking this? And you can also ask yourself, is this, is this really serving me? Is this doing me, is this thought really doing me any good? And the answer is probably no. So change the thought, change your mind, change your perspective. And if you can't, if you're like, oh, I just, I just can't, I gotta get rid of this. I just can't change my thought, right? Guess what? Guess what you can do to get out of that? Go to your thankful. Go to your gratitude. Start to give me five things that you're you're grateful for. Because now your focus is off the the negative and your focus on, oh, what am I thankful for? You're gonna change your emotion and get connected to it, right? So that's that's numero uh, number five. Um, Connect with loved ones. I love this. We should always, I mean, we, we think about our loved ones all the time, right? Um, and, but we don't always talk about them. I mean, we don't always talk to them. We don't always connect. Like we could think about someone 20 times a day, but we don't, what if we don't reach out, reach out to them? And, and that's a missed opportunity because you're thinking about them, so why not reach out to them, you know? Why not just tell them, hey, just quick little text, hey, I was thinking about you. And then 
you're gonna feel good and they're gonna feel good too. They're gonna be like, hey, I was just thinking about you too. Isn't that amazing? Um, connect with loved ones. This is something that we all probably, um, it's so easy to do if you think about. It's just like literally our phones are in the palm of our hand. It's just so easy to connect yet we don't do it for whatever reason. Like we have thoughts that stop us from connecting. Don't let those those negative thoughts stop you um, or those distractions, right? Reach out and say hello and tell, tell the person that you, you miss them, you're thinking of them. Just, you know, hey, I was thinking about you and uh, get that connection back, right? I'm gonna see if this is ready. Oh no, it's doing good. Um, and then the last one is continue learning. If you are not growing, you are shrinking. Think about the world that we live in is constantly changing. It is constantly new technology, new new everything. There's no inventions every single day that you're like, wow, that's amazing. This is so cool. Well, if you're not continuing to learn, you're not continuing to grow and you just feel stagnant and then you're shrinking. You're, you're becoming less of yourself. We're put, up, we're put here to learn and experience as much as we can in our lives. So remember that, you know, you don't have to be um, you don't have to have a lot of money to experience things. We have the, the beautiful luxury of social media and YouTube and we can experience things. I'm going to, I'm going to just go ahead and add my vegetables back in. We can experience so much, um, and learn so much just from, from, uh, social media and, and learn good things. I don't have to know what you're, you're reading like. Learn something that's gonna help you grow as a person, not something that's gonna um, that's gonna deceive your ego, because that's not really a, your ego could be so big and it just always wants more, but you're not growing as a person, okay? So just be mindful of that. Try and, try and keep growing as a person. And those things, if you practice those things every single day, yes. Every day. You breathe every day, you got the clothes on every day, you got the shower every day. If you practice those things every day, you will feel more fulfilled. fulfilled. You will feel more fulfilled in your life and happy. I'm like, wow, I did this only for a week and I'm already feeling a lot different. So just try it. And I'm gonna add some pesto. And if you don't, I would like to know about it. I would like to hear about it. Um, tell me what you were doing and if you were really aware of your thoughts and, and trying to experience new things and have a new perspective in life. Um, but I bet you will. And I wish you the best. And I have just added my pesto to all of my veggies and my beefsteak tips, my vegan beefsteak tips. And it's looking so yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There we go. That's amazing, right? Now we're gonna add it all to the pasta. Yummy, yummy. Look at that. In like what, 20 minutes? Simple, simple. And it probably took it even a little bit longer because that was pumpkin. There we go. We add it all in. After school little snack or your dinner. Yes, I'm gonna eat it. It's good. My stuff is clean. Right. You got this all ready to go for your kiddos. And that's that. Anyway, those are your seven tips, and I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your meal. It's actually really good. And by the way, the, the vegan stuff, the hamburger, it tastes really good, yes. Go ahead. Switch, make the switch. Come on over. And if you have any tips or recipes for me, I would love to hear them. Please share them with me. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Bye.